Hello and welcome to this episode of Solutions In. In this episode, we're going to be discussing the Pythagorean Theorem. I'm sure if you found this video that you're either wanting to understand more about what the Pythagorean Theorem is or how to apply it. So I hope to address those issues in this video. So the first thing we've got to understand is what the Pythagorean Theorem is. So the Pythagorean Theorem is the important relationship between the lengths of the sides of a right triangle. So over 2,000 years ago, the Greeks discovered this important relationship. So it's a, a long-tested theorem. But how do we apply it? What does it look like? So the theorem actually is a simplified version of the law of cosines. So what the law of cosine states is that a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine theta equals c squared. Now this sounds like a complicated equation, but let me, let me break it down and I'll, I'll explain it to you. So a squared is the length, a is the length of one side of this angle. b is the length of the other side of this angle. So you square the lengths of those. You subtract the 2ab, which is the angle that's created here. So 2ab. The cosine theta is the angle that's here. So it's 2 times the length AB times cosine of theta. So this is subtracted from A squared minus B squared to give you C squared in a triangle that is not a 90 degree angle. So that gives you, in essence, allows you to solve for this distance. You can use this in coordinate covalent applications, a bunch of different applications you can use the law of cosine for. But when your angle is 90 degrees, when this is 90, then cosine is zero. Cosine being zero actually cancels this out. It makes this all zero because this is all multiplication. It simplifies it to the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So this is the application we're looking at, the simplified version or a special case of the law of cosine, which is called the Pythagorean theorem. The first thing we've got to understand is what are these letters? What do they mean? When we're looking at the, the Pythagorean theorem, the first thing we've got to understand is there is a special side to this triangle. We have the 90 degree angle, which we know, because it's a 90 degree angle. It, it creates a square. The adjacent side to that 90 degree angle is what they call the hypotenuse. Now, the hypotenuse is the longer side which is adjacent to the 90 degree angle. Now, if you're using the law of cosine, it's the longer angle that is created from your triangle. But in the special case of the Pythagorean theorem, it's the side adjacent to the 90 degrees, which always ends up being longer than the other two sides. This is C. This is the C in the equation. So it's always C, no matter what. The hypotenuse is always C in the Pythagorean theorem. So how do we, how do we use this? We, we know what the sides are now. We understand that A, is, A and B are the shorter of the three sides. C is the hypotenuse. A and B, when they intersect, make the 90 degree angle. So let's apply this and let's use it. Let's see how we can use this to solve for something that we don't know. So we have an airplane. We're going to get into this airplane. We're going to fly due east. We're going to fly due east for 400 kilometers. When we get to our destination in the east, we are then going to turn at a 90 degree angle and we're going to head due north. This due north direction, we are unsure of how far we've traveled. We just headed due north. And now, once we reach that destination, we're going to turn around and we want to go back to where we came from. We go back to our point of origin. So we are actually going to head southwest and we're going to travel southwest for 500 kilometers. Now, this 500 kilometer distance then is going to be our hypotenuse because we know when we landed in the east, we turned due north and went north. So an easterly direction, then turning north creates a 90 degree angle. So we know where our 90 degree angle is and we know where our hypotenuse is. So how do we solve for this? How do we solve for B? We solve for B by putting in the information that we know. So we know our hypotenuse C is 500. We know A is 400. We know this eastern location is our 90 degree angle and B is our unknown. Our hypotenuse is C. The equation we're looking at is 2a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 
We know that A is 400. We know that B is unknown. We know that C is 500. But when we look at the equation, what we're looking at is we're solving for C squared. But we know what C squared is. What we don't know is what B is. So we need to rewrite this equation. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get B on one of the sides of the equation by itself. So the way to get B on itself is let's subtract A squared from both sides. So we subtract A squared from both sides. We get B squared equals C squared minus A squared. Now, we're still not solving for B. We're solving for B squared. So the first thing we have to do is find out how to get B by itself. The way to get B by itself is to find the square root of B squared. By finding the square root of B squared, the square root of B squared is B. But we have to take the square root of both sides. So we take the square root of both sides and we get B equals the square root of C squared minus A squared. Now, let's plug in our numbers and let's see if we can solve for this unknown distance that we traveled to the north. So B equals the square root uh, of c squared minus a squared. We know c squared is 500, so 500 squared minus a, which is 400 squared. So let's calculate these. So 500 squared is 2.5 times 10 to the fifth. 400 squared is 1.6 times 10 to the fifth. So let's subtract our 500 squared from our 400 squared. So 2.15 times 10 to the fifth minus 1.6 times 10 to the fifth gives us 9.0 times 10 to the fourth. We still don't know B. That is actually our B squared. So we have to find the square root of 9.0 times 10 to the fourth. The square root of 9.0 times 10 to the fourth calculates out to be 300. So our distance that we traveled due north is 300 kilometers. So this is how you apply the Pythagorean theorem in a 90 degree angle. Now, if you wanted to get more complex and look at other triangles that are not 90, then you would have to apply the law of cosines. But for this event, for this episode, we are just addressing how to apply the Pythagorean theorem, how to understand how to determine what the, the hypotenuse is and how to rewrite this equation to actually use it to solve for the sides that are not the hypotenuse. And I hope this has been helpful. And please, I want to thank you for watching this episode and check out the other wide selection of training materials and enjoy your stay at Solutions Inn.